Hello there, friends. It is me, Ari. Welcome back to Hobbit Homes and Gardens. I'm sitting inside because it's uh, it's pouring with rain outside. We got a thunderstorm going on. It's a little bit spoopy. Uh, I haven't done too much since last time. I basically have been clearing a lot of trees. Uh, I did finally fill in my storage with all linen sacks. We've got a decent amount of storage now. Uh, the ewe is pregnant, so we're gonna have we're gonna have some little baby sheep, some little lambs. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, however, while I was working, I was visited. Uh, this is incredible. I was visited. I mean, I'm the only hobbit here so far. But this is, you know, it is an area inhabited by a hobbit. And therefore, it is a, a hobbit village. And uh, hobbit villages are prone to being visited by wizards on, on the odd occasion. And wouldn't you know it, a wizard came by just the other day. Uh, it was very exciting. And... Uh, offered me some information. I was like, you know what, wizard? Actually, there is some information I, I would love to have. Uh, I really need some bauxite for building. Is there anywhere nearby where I can get some bauxite? And the wizard was like, ah, ha, 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 you fool of a hobbit. And I was like, all right, you don't have to be rude uh, there. Uh, wizard, wizard, uh, there was a, uh, a cr crumb dilf, crumb dilf, crumb dilf the wizard, uh, famous wizard. Uh, and, um, so when the wizard had, had calmed down and stopped laughing at me, uh, Crumdilf, uh, Crumdilf said, well, there's, there's no bauxite anywhere near this, this area. If, you, if you're going out on foot just hoping to stumble upon bauxite, you, you're never going to find it. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that you stopped by because I would have wasted many, many hours doing that. And Crumdilf was like, yeah, I know, you're, you're an idiot. And I was like, listen, you're a guest here. You don't need to be rude. Uh, do you know where there is some bauxite anywhere in the world that I could find? And as it happens... The wizard Crumdilf uh, did know where there's some bauxite. It's it's a long ways away, and uh, he gave me the coordinates that I can go to. It's it's uh, it's very far. It's more than four thousand blocks from here, which is a, a bit of a ways to walk on foot. Long far further away than I probably would have gone for the first few bouts of exploration. So I am I am grateful. To have those coordinates. The price of those coordinates was that I had to blank out my entire map, though. So I had to give my map to to Crumdilf. So if I show you now, my map is, is, is just got just got the local area, uh, but that's okay. We've got a couple of waypoints for important places that we know nearby, and uh, the the place we need to go is let's see, it was minus four thousand, minus three hundred ish, somewhere around here. Uh, I said there there there's a place where I can find bauxite just under the surface. So grateful for that, and I was like, hey, do you want to maybe join? Um, Join join a video. Say hello to to the audience. And Chrome Dove was like, "Oh yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be. I love I love YouTube. I love your series." I was like, "Oh, Chrome Dove, that's so kind of you." Um, and we were just chatting, and I was like, "Hey, you know, I there's something I've always wondered. How come all the wizards? Um, how come all the wizards that I've ever seen are are male and white? Like, what's what's the deal with that? Like, I know there's not a lot of you, but it's just I'm just curious. Like, and Chrome Dove was like, "Oh." Oh, that is no accident. And I was like, oh, is there like some, some, are you like part of a magical race that only has light skin? He said, no, we don't allow that. And I stopped him right there. I was like, Cr Crumdilf, Crumdilf, you're about to say something racist, aren't you? Crumdilf's like, I can't be racist. My best friend is like, okay, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not having that on this channel. We, we do not tolerate racism here in the Secret Foxfire channel. Absolutely not. Turns out the wizard is a racist, white supremacist jerk. Um, so I gave Crumdilf a whole speech about how Black Lives Matter and about how racism is is bad. Can't believe that needs to be said, but apparently it does. And uh, Crumdilf was being a, a, a jerk, and uh, I kicked him out. So unfortunately, you don't get to meet Crumdilf because Crumdilf it turns out is a racist. But I did manage to get <laughs> I did manage to get coordinates for Boxite from the wizard before I kicked him out. So, the plan for today is we are going to go on an adventure, we're going to get Bauxite, I'm getting ready to go, uh, and we're never going to speak of Crumdilf or his racism again. Racists are not welcome here, they don't deserve our attention. Let's, let's get going. So, I'm not bringing a lot of stuff with me. I've got, I'm going to use the rest of this cooked bush meat, which is going to go bad before we even finish it. We're going to pick up food along the way, I'm sure we'll pass berry bushes and stuff. I'll bring a spear, although I don't expect to need it, uh, an axe, a shovel, and a knife. Um, just basic tools, and of course, I gotta bring a pick. I wonder if I should bring a second pick. Now, you know what? I think one pick, I hope one pick is gonna be enough. I think by the time this pick runs out of durability, 
uh, my, my bags will be full anyway. We're gonna fill, fill all this up with bauxite. We're gonna get as many um, full rocks as we can until the rest of it is full of stones because it's, it's a long way, folks. It's a real long way and I don't wanna have to, to walk back. I'm gonna bring some sticks to make ladders if we need them and I've got packed dirt to, to pillar and, and, and such in case we need that. Um, I think I'm not gonna bring a bed if you need a bed, I will I will pick up a bed. I will pick up some grass with my knife and just make a bed along the way. But I, I honestly, what time is it actually? It's midday. I should set out first thing in the morning, but no. When a hobbit starts an adventure, the hobbit goes. So we're going. We're going to head west. It's it's a good long ways uh, west and a little bit north. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I... Yeah. Yeah, that's east. I, I did... I did it again. I'm so ashamed. Good thing I made this compass rose. West, and off we go. Off on a little adventure. <laughs> you know, as, as, I, as I set out here, I've been thinking a little bit about what... Crumb Dilf, the wizard, said earlier. And, uh... You know, not only does it upset me that he said those things, and that he believed those things, it upset me that he thought that I would be okay with him saying those things, that that he wouldn't know that I would be upset by that, that he would he would think that I would agree with him on that sort of thing. I mean, it it, it really it really makes you it makes you think. You know, sometimes I assume that everyone knows how I feel about these sorts of things, and everyone knows, for example, that I am. Very vehemently anti-racism and uh, pro pro the the Black Lives Matter movement and and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but you know, sometimes sometimes you really just got you got to say it, however obvious you think it is. It might not be. It's, it's important to say it out loud every once in a while, so uh, so you don't wind up with racist wizards uh, thinking that you're one of them. Ugh! It just it made me feel so gross and, and just. It's very unpleasant, so, you know, it's a good opportunity for me to, for me to declare that racism is bad, uh, black lives do matter, uh, lives, lives for people of all colors matter, but, uh, they, they won't, they won't really matter. All, all lives don't matter until black lives matter, you know what I mean? That's what they say, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. Also, you know, trans rights. <laughs> I would say obviously, but even that might not be obvious to folks. Trans rights, uh, gay rights, queer rights of all sorts. You know, there there once was a time when I thought I I, I should keep politics off my YouTube channel. You know, because you know my my political and social beliefs are important to me. But you don't want to upset people or make people think about bad stuff or chase away potential viewers who might disagree with you. But you know, these days, I don't think that's true anymore. I think you gotta, you gotta say it. You gotta say what you feel. You gotta stand up for the people who need standing up for. Man, are we, are we almost there? Let's see. Minus 890. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a long walk, folks. Ooh. Oh, I can't not take that. This is how it starts, folks. You go out. You go out for one thing and then on the way you say oh look rich lead ore sure could use that it's just a few pieces I'll just grab a few pieces next thing you know your bags are gonna be full of stuff before you ever even get to your box site I'm telling you oh oh my goodness oh this is a huge look at this whoa oh man I can't just... I can't just walk past this. Alright, I'm gonna mark this down. We'll come back, we'll come back and explore this another time. I'm not gonna... I gotta take the torch holder. I wonder if there's a basement. If there's a basement, there might be a real nice bed for me to sleep in. I am only... I am, I am but a simple hobbit. I can't just walk past. I got. I gotta check and see if there's a basement. Not there. 
Oh, there's a basement as well. I got, I gotta. I got, I, I gotta check it out. It's a table. All right, no bed. Another torch holder. A stack. Okay, good. Oh, oh. I, all right, I gotta, I gotta come back here. I gotta come back here. I can't, I can't be doing this right now. I can't. I'm on- I'm on a dang mission. I am gonna make a little bed and, and try to sleep through most of the night, though. Listen to that rain. If you just make like an ASMR video, just walking through the rainforest while it rains, a vintage story. I would uh, I would stop and just listen for a bit, but as you may notice in the bottom right there, having a bit of an issue. I had expected I'd be able to find berries and vegetables and stuff along the way, and it's been like temperate rainforest pretty much the whole way, and I have not found any food whatsoever. Uh, if we don't find something soon, we might be forced to do a little hunting, but I would rather avoid that, so fingers crossed something shows up soon. Oh, is this rice grown? Not that it'll give me very much. Oh, it is. This is, this is... Oh, no, it's not. Nine out of ten. You taunt me. Oh, here we go. Turnips. We must have just crossed over the biome line. Don't worry, I'll toss out the seeds if I have to. Inventory's not quite as empty as I'd intended for it to be at this point. I'm only a hobbit. I see cool things, I pick them up. Look at this. Cool. I won't break it. I'm not- look at me, I'm behaving myself. There is a traitor here. Hello? Do you have any food? I didn't take the gears from the ruins before, because I didn't- it didn't occur to me that I might meet a traitor. Hello? What you got? Oh, you got luxuries. Hello, Optal the Luxuries Merchant. Maybe back to you eventually. We can fancy stuff. Ornate gold sp Look at this stuff. I'm gonna set a waypoint for you. Luxuries. Alright, I gotta get going. Could it be? Was the racist wizard right? It is! It's bauxite sand! Well, friends, you know if there's bauxite sand. This 
there's gotta be... Oh. Where's the bauxite? Hey. Hey, wizard, where's the, where's the dang bauxite? I traveled a long ways. It's taken me more than a day. He said it was... He said it would be beneath the surface. I see bauxite stone over here. Does beneath the surface mean... That's bauxite stone. There! Oh my, tell, tell me it's not just a tiny little... Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Friends, we got it. We found the bauxite. Woo! Oh, but it's directly... Alright, we're gonna have to leave this layer intact, otherwise it's gonna be Avalanche City around here. Let's just dig down a bit. If we can get two layers thick, at least. There we go. Oh, look at this! Delicious bauxite. We did it, my friends. Okay, we gotta start our checkerboard pattern. Right? Nope, nope. That was, that was the wrong... Nope. Gotta go... Gotta, gotta go deeper. Okay, no problem. Hey, it's no problem. Oh. Oh man, I hope I hope there's more than this. <laughs> how, how deep does it? Uh, this is not a lot. This is not a lot of bauxite. Hey, friends, this is this the best we can do? Is this the best this world has to offer us? It feels like it might be. What kind of junk world is this? You know, when I when I started this world, I was like, all right, criteria. Criteria for a good world. I, I looked at so many different world seeds. Oh man. And I said I got I got a few things I need, right? I need chalk or limestone. That's essential. And I need uh, like a hilly terrain. So that we can make something suitable for, for, for hobbit houses, right? I should have checked for bauxite. I mean, on the one hand, as, as displeased as I am that the, the wizard did turn out to be a racist, I, uh... It's, it's a dang, it's a dang good thing that the wizard came by. Racist or not, because, I mean, think of how many hours it would have taken me. I would have gone, I'll tell you what I would have done. I had, I had looked south a little bit and gone like this far. I would have gone north next and gone like that, and then I would have gone east. I wouldn't have come this far out for eight, it would have taken me hours and hours. And hours and hours and hours. There would have been so many episodes, which is the search for bo for bauxite. Oh, oh my god. My friends, I am so ashamed of myself. I was supposed to have an empty inventory. Everything about this trip has gone wrong. I'm just gonna have to take as much as I can. I hope it at least extends for a ways. If it extends for a ways, then we can make this work, right? can't do my normal pattern, because my normal pattern re re relies on being able to go down deep. And it seems like we just got a thin layer. Alright, it seems like it goes on for a ways, at least. I'm gonna stand here and mine for a good long while. I'm gonna toss out most of the junk in my inventory, I promise. And get as much bauxite rock as I can. And we're gonna have to begin the journey home. going great. Everything's going splendidly. Okay. Alright. Um, I've been here a while, friends. Uh, actually, I, I even took a break because I was in here for, uh, for way too long. My wrist was starting to hurt. Uh, I, had to take a, I had to take a long break and then come back. You can see little piles of, of discard here and there around from stuff that I threw away. So here's, here's what I wound up with. 
Um, I found more Cassiterite, so I'm, I'm keeping that and that. Um, keeping the Galena. I'm keeping these soybean seeds because I don't think I have any soybeans yet, and soybeans are going to be important for protein. And I found some Terra Preta, and I can't just discard that because I haven't found much of it. I have gone until I got two stacks of bauxite rock. So these are the full rocks that we can turn into bricks, and the rest of them are just stone. Now I could stay here and get another pile of the rock because this actually isn't going to go that far, but I don't intend to build anything huge with these. They're mostly going to be used as decorations and small walls and stuff, so I think I'm going to make do with this for now, and I can use cobble for the rest. But man, I'm going to leave the bed here. Oh boy, folks. I just, you know... Oh, by the way, look at this. We got, uh, here it is. Limestone. I just, I've got the world with all the chalk and all the limestone. All the lime you could want. But not very much of the bauxite. So, you know, I, I, I don't know why I imagined that it would be easy to get lots of bauxite. I mean, I guess on my, on my server, my multiplayer server, where I play with, with the patrons and the community, um... I, uh, when I was like, oh, I would like to find some bauxite, I walked like a thousand blocks in one direction, and there was some bauxite. It wasn't, it wasn't difficult to find at all, and I just thought, oh, it must be fairly common. But no, I think I was just profoundly lucky in, uh, in that playthrough. Oop. Killed that guy a while ago. Oh, I didn't think to loot him. Might have had one of those fancy gears, but you know what? It doesn't even matter because I can't hold anymore. Um, so I'm wondering, I mean, it, clearly this, this layer does extend, and actually I remember the wizard saying- Oh, goodness, I'm getting the lag again. I remember the wizard saying that it was more than 4,000 blocks, so maybe if I go further this way there might be more. I will explore at some point, but I can't do it now. Look at this. My pick didn't break, but whew, it did come close, didn't it? And this is with my tool durability turned way up. Uh, by the way, if you're not aware of why I do that, it's not out of laziness, it's an accessibility thing. I got wrist problems, and uh, making the tools work faster and last longer is a way of sparing me a lot of time mining. I'm just gonna go- I'm gonna go a little bit to the west here. And just see, like, there's some rocks in the ground according to the mini-map. What have we got? That's a sandstone. There's a little cave. Hold on, let's, let's peek in the cave. Let's peek in the cave. What's the cave got? Cave's got water in it. Well, that's not much of a cave, is it? Look at that, there's muddy gravel in the cave. We don't need to breathe. Okay, oh, there's copper here. I can't take that. No copper for me. See, I don't see any bauxite here. I don't see any bauxite at all. I want to go too deep. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that... Oh, is that shirt? Shirt? No, it's bauxite. Okay. Alright, so it does extend, but it's like, it's a sub-layer. It's not a full layer all its own. Which is what I had been hoping to find. Because that would make it easier to mine. But at least there seems to be plenty here. It seems like I'm gonna have to do some traveling. Every now and then, I'm just gonna have to take a trip over here. And, uh... And do a bit of quarrying and a bit of mining. I can only carry so much. Uh, I am gonna look into... If anyone happens to know. If anyone watching this happens to know. Uh, I, I need to, and I keep forgetting, to check the status on the carry capacity mod. I know it used to be that you could carry a chest on your back and fill that with stuff, and it would slow you down. But, like, you could carry two inventories worth of stuff, basically, if you did that. I am no longer able to do that. I don't know if I need to update the mod or if that's been removed or what. If anyone happens to know, leave a comment, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just look into it myself, or uh, even just ask Copy Girl, who's a very nice person, very responsive to questions like that. However, I'm glad we at least have this material. This material is going to be used to do our next building project in the Hobbit Village. I am getting... So few frames right now. The frames have abandoned me. The frames no longer love me. I have got a very long walk back home. And uh, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Big thank you to my patrons. I'm going to be honest with you folks. I've lost I've lost quite a lot of patrons lately. Uh, my Patreon income has, has decreased substantially. And to be clear, I, I don't blame anyone if they need to drop their patronage or if they're not able to sign up. It, times are hard right now. Uh, but people's finances are struggling. I get it. Fully understand. Don't feel guilty if you're not able to support me. However, if you've ever thought about maybe supporting me, even just for a dollar a month, you can get on that that multiplayer server with uh, me and my patrons. It's a really lovely community, and I tell you what, it would just mean it would mean the absolute world to me to have you hanging out with us. So, just give that give that a thought. You would have my eternal gratitude. Really, even if it's just a dollar a month, if you can afford that, you would be it would be a big help. And I've got all kinds of rewards that I really want to give you. So think about that. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.